Hi, my name is Ritu Vashisht. Welcome to Microsoft. In this video, we will cover PowerView. PowerView is a reporting tool built within Microsoft Excel. In Excel 2013, you simply need to enable the PowerView add-in. PowerView allows you to easily create reports and analytical views through interactive charts and graphs. It empowers users to explore and present their data visually in Excel. Let's say you teach a health sciences class and have a large data set of 750,000 rows, which shows the disease cases for the 50 US states over the last 100 years. That's a lot of data, and it's visually hard to digest. An analysis to see disease incidence for a couple of states for a certain year will require multiple steps to filter the data down. How about these views of the same data? These reports created in PowerView show disease occurrence by year and diphtheria cases for three US states over the course of 100 years. The peaks and valleys present the underlying data in a visual way and give you an opportunity to have a discussion with your students on potential causes. One of their assignments might be to dig into the data to come up with some hypothesis for variations in the disease cases. Let's jump into PowerView to see how we can create these reports. In this Excel worksheet, I have downloaded publicly available US disease data using Power Query. I'd like to point out that you can choose to only create a connection to the data and load it to the data model and still have the PowerView functionality available to create reports. Good to note, especially if your data set is quite large. I will now demonstrate a few visualizations we can create in PowerView to analyze this large data set. To create my report, I go to the Insert tab and click on PowerView Reports. This creates a new PowerView sheet added as a separate tab in my Excel workbook. Meanwhile, to save time, I have already added my first PowerView sheet as you can see at the bottom. In the PowerView sheet, a default view shows my data table on the left. This is my report canvas. On the right is my PowerView field list. I will go ahead and uncheck the default fields to begin with a clean slate. And now select the fields I wish to use in my report. Note that I modified the year field to show absolute value instead of a summary. In this view, we can see the number of disease cases by year for the eight diseases we have data for. I can give my report a title. Let's explore this data set further to look at disease occurrence by state. In the blank PowerView sheet, I select the four fields I'm interested in. The table here shows the aggregate number for disease cases by year for each of the states already saving me the time to apply filters to acquire this information. For our example, I would like to analyze diphtheria occurrences 